7.5 billion dollars. That's what I want. What was that? that? That was Dr. Evil. That was my impression of Dr. Evil. I am not that good. Oh, seven. Hey. But to play it off real, 7.5 billion perspective, dollars. Perspective. That's more than Disney paid for Star Wars. Holy crap. Let's get into this discussion about Microsoft buying Bethesda and who the f saw that. I already swore, so, you know. Roll Let's title card. Roll title card. <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell. And make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Who the hell saw this coming? Uh, nobody. Not a single soul. <laughs> like, Last I heard, they were talking about buying Bungie. Wrong B. Wrong B. Wrong B. Wrong, wrong B. B. They, wrong uh, B. Yep. Microsoft bought the wrong B. Got Bungie, not but the. Okay. I. Uh, so I get a. So here's, here's where I'm at. I'm at work. Phone goes off, and I always I check my personal phone in case of emergencies, right? Right. So I'm a work phone in my right ass cheek, my my personal phone in my left charming, ass cheek. Charming, charming. Construction right. worker. You can tell so he's the yeah. evolved human. I am the <laughs> I am the evolved. That's what we're going with. So anyway, so so my left ass cheek goes off. I pull it out, and it's a drink with crazy, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I got a quick second to see what you and Convoy are talking about. Yeah, and I open it up, and it says, and I open up. And it says, Microsoft buys Bethesda. And then my phone goes, in my hand. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it says, skill up tweets. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I'm like, and it's like, skill up is like, who in the hell? When did this happen? Where did this come from? Why? What purpose? And also, for why that much? Seven and a half billion, billion dollars. dollars with a B. With like, a B. We're talking Dr. Evil money here, people. This that is, is a, insane. I, I said it in the intro. I'm going to say it again now. That's more than Disney paid for Star Wars. Thank you, Angry Joe. Yeah, um, No, that was an Angry Joe thing. Yeah. Like, d d an Angry Joe is totally right. How? Okay, and first of all, and Bethesda is notorious for having glitches and issues. And At one point after the patch, the dragons <laughs> flew backwards. <laughs> That was the thing. So, and I, we all remember the giant okay, where okay, he smashes okay. you and you go up to the stratosphere. Oh, yeah. Well, that was well, great. Was it? It was I'm okay the, with that the one. Science, still being there, the but. science said that he's like, you know, that you can't tell if a, if it's a glitch or if it's if the glitches or the game things are just inextricably linked to the gameplay. It's like, got to be a physics engine thing. That's why I like, never got fixed. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. Bethesda. First of all, why Bethesda? Do um, you have anything? Because you're more... You know more than I do. Dovahkiin. Dovahkiin died anyway. But Skyrim. No, seriously, Skyrim. That thing has been released on everything. I think somebody actually got it worked to on a voice-activated Alexa at one point. Um, this thing is released on everything. It is one of the biggest games ever. People still love it to the point where it is no longer the Elder Scrolls. It is Skyrim. That's how big this game got, and so I think they're looking at that, and they're going, <laughs> Elder Scrolls Six, yeah. That's, so that, is that's this us. like Microsoft? So I gotta ask this question because again, this is your area, not yeah, mine. Yeah, 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 no, totally, no, don't totally, get me totally, wrong. Totally. Like yeah. you've been telling me, I, I've I've learned about this. God, this shirt's hot, and it, it, we're technically in fall in color fall. No, it, we're, actually, it's we're, ninety degrees, and it's no. Fall. This, is, this is first fall. What about second fall? What about what about second fall? Colorado doesn't have a second fall. We barely ever get a fall. But anyway, <laughs> so. Yeah, wake up tomorrow. It'll be like negative cold outside. But anyway, um, but okay. So here's where I'm at. Like, what is Microsoft thinking? Like seven and a half billion dollars. Uh, How are they going to recoup that? How they're thinking Fallout and they're thinking Elder Scrolls and they're thinking their new one. Please help me out because I didn't look this up and I meant to. It's Starscape something it's their new one this is you buddy and it's this a sci-fi it's a sci-fi you're sci the gamer here i'm, but they the, are I'm taking, the newbie gamer they are taking elder scrolls into outer space and it's obviously not the same franchise it's a new ip but they are coming out with a new ip that is set in space and i want to say it's star something star something okay. um but how are they gonna write seven and a half billion and well, what's the timeline here? When do they have to recoup that? I, I feel like... That is a metric they're, they're, they're looking hell at, of a ton of money. They're, they're looking at the profits on Skyrim, which I think are in the billions at this point, and going, yeah. And also... Dude, it's more than Star Wars. Keep in mind, dude, they're losing their ass to Sony on the first parties. They are losing their ass. Because when we think about Xbox, what is the one first party we think of? Halo. What else? 
Yeah, no, you're right, dude. And so by you're acquiring right. this and acquiring is acquiring obsidian, obsidian. Sorry, I cannot speak. Sorry, I don't know why those two words screwed with my head, but they did. They acquired obsidian as well. So, you know, the guys who made Fallout and the guys who own Fallout are now just Microsoft. So everybody's going New Vegas too, and um, and I yeah. You now you weren't a big fan of New Vegas. I, I had my issues with it. I know the internet's going to crucify me on this one, but it's reactivity to the world. Now, I understand Fallout 3 didn't have the best reactivity either, but it didn't pretend to. Dude, th- this is... Th- nobody heard about this. And you and nobody I, you and I keep this. our feet to the ground. Try no to. one. I don't I, even think the CIA follow, knew about this. I don't even have a Twitter, and I follow everybody on Twitter. Um, <laughs> right. Actually, you kind of do. <laughs> but... Um, no, nah, I just do it through URLs because I'm old school. But I can <laughs> give you the uh, the login for the ADWC. You did at one point. I tried it. It didn't work. Um, it, it's really good for new... Dude, but, um, I... No, it's... Uh, but no, nobody saw this coming. And here's, here's where it really gets sticky, right? Is what the hell happens now? Because we've talked about Skyrim. We are Elder Scrolls. Even I'm doing it. Um, we've talked about Elder Scrolls. We've talked about Fallout. We've talked about their new one, which I'm not going to even try because I forget. And they have ESO, they have, which is Elder Scrolls Online. They have all these IPs and all these properties already in development. I mean, 76 is a live uh, service game, just like Destiny or Division or anything like that. It's a really bad one, but um, they still have it. And the Fallout IP and the Elder Scrolls IP still have a lot of merit. But what the hell happens now? Because these are all multi-platform games and have been forever. So are they and Xbox that's actually only, something are they that I heard PC an only? actually angry Joe because I watched the angry Joe reaction to this. See, I and saw those this guys from, were uh, floored. I, I I saw this from um, uh, um, not watch Mojo, but um, what culture? Sorry, uh, um, yeah, I stopped I, watching. I, I watched one of theirs on it, and they had the same questions. I actually, uh, Angry Joe had the same questions. Well, because I think we all do. Anybody who's did, played like, a Bethesda what, what, game in the on? last like a, decade, like, okay. outside of this guy, um, because he hasn't played a Bethesda no, game. No, because I haven't, because I but I, it's, thought, it's, I started a family, y'all played video games, and now I'm getting back into the video games. Priorities, bitch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> that was but, pretty good. But okay. no, and here's the thing is they didn't buy Bethesda. They bought ZeniMax. That means that they have Wolfenstein, Dishonored. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, there was another one in there. That There's I'm, a lot of cussing in this video. There's a lot of cussing. Well, Sorry. Because Sorry for the children who might We'll put an 18 warning on it. It'll be good. Yep. Um, but, no, it's... This what? is insane. It's, it's I, nuts. I mean, they, dude, they, they, they bought the parent company. I mean, I, keep in mind, ZeniMax uh, publishes a lot of stuff. So it's not just Bethesda Softworks, people who make Skyrim or the mainline Fallouts. Right. It is the entire company. So Wolfenstein, Arcane Studios, uh, Machine Games makes Wolfenstein. So they got them too. Oh, gee. So is Wolfenstein 3 an Xbox exclusive now? Is it with Game Pass? It seems okay, like so where does this end up with the console wars? I don't know because they're putting so because much here's on the PC. Thing. It's because here's the thing. Ex- is, is if we're hearing about this now, how long has this, been, this deal has had to have been going on for oh, five years? Easy. Maybe, because, maybe two, but um, because, well, that, because I know transitions of power and all that. I've actually been a part of companies who've been bought out by larger companies. Oh yeah, and indeed. usually that that's a five year transition. Usually, so what I'm saying is, I mean, this announcement here, like it's got to be at minimum two years in the works to five years in the works. Now, are we seeing the beginning of the transition, or is this the transition? Last and we're just 70, being told la, about la, it. Last seventy five percent. Um, the deal has been signed. The money has not changed hands, but the deal has been signed. And they announced it before. Okay, the okay. So we're in the it. beginnings of the transition. So we yes. might not see the ramifications of this for a few years. Um, if Microsoft's track record is to be believed, which isn't exactly what I again, call guys, good I've worked faith. for companies that have been bought out by bigger companies in the construction uh, indeed, world. Indeed, like, but I wouldn't call Microsoft's track record good faith because they haven't done it long enough. To, but when they bought Obsidian, Outer Worlds still came out on PlayStation. So. I think it largely depends on what. So wait, is, does that mean that Sony is paying the money? Uh, no, what it means is Microsoft is paying Sony money to license the. Wait, ah. Uh, yeah, I know it gets confusing because uh, keep in mind when you get an SDK, um, software development kit uh, for a console, you pay royalties, and see. then you pay royalties to publish on said platform. See. So what that means is Microsoft buys a company that already had a multi-platform game in the works, uh-huh. then pays Sony to uh-huh. still publish on PlayStation. 
because they didn't want to break the promise, which is actually fairly pro-consumer, if you think about it. But will they keep that going? So it depends on what is promised at this point. We only ha- we have no uh, teaser for a new Fallout game, Fallout 5 or equivalent. We have Elder Scrolls 6 teased. We have uh, the space one uh, teased. But there was no platform listed, so is that in the works or is that exclusive? Will Fallout 5 be an exclusive? What is going on? 2020. <sighs> Straight up. Dude, this literally feels like Microsoft is trolling Sony again. And I'm like... I- it's it's a big one because... Because um, this is a big troll. Like, if this is a troll, this is a $7.5 billion troll. Still don't quite get that reference. But I can't. Yeah. Austin um, Powers. Oh, you could have just said that. It's Dr. Evil, Austin Powers, Seth Green. Oh, well, I got Austin Powers. I didn't get Dr. Evil. Good Lord, I haven't watched all of them. There's like nine of them. <laughs> it's also been many years. No, I, I watched one a little while back. But um, but yeah, no, it's you, you get it's Austin Powers. It's Dr. Is it Goldfinger? Is, is it Goldmember oh, or Goldfinger? It's, it's, oh, it's, no, it's, it's Goldmember. No, yeah. Yeah, that, that yes. is, yeah because yes. Austin Powers. Yeah, Goldfinger is banned. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, but dude, hey. that I could not. Okay, so now the question is, and everybody has to ask this question, and Angry Joe already asked this question. The, uh, the we're, internet, we're, we're all the memes. The question. memes are ablaze right now. Does this mean Bethesda actually has to finish a game before they put it out? Well, Microsoft <laughs> hasn't done that with an OS, so <laughs> I, 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 don't I think know. last time they did that was Halo Two and Three. <laughs> that wasn't an OS, but yeah. um, no. I mean, keep in mind, Halo, dude. Halo, I, Halo Two I, was rushed as hell. Halo Three was actually pretty competent. Yeah. Um, no. Um. I. Uh, man. So was Reach for that. This matter. is a massive purchase. I mean, and this gears, is all the gears. One of the most massive. Actually, their, their gaming side has always been fairly consistent. Um, this outside is one, of the time that they tried to lock us into DRM. <laughs> This is one of the most massive purchases in the gaming world that it's, I am aware no, of. No, it's just one of the most massive purchases ever because keep in mind, they outpaced Disney. Disney! The House of Mouse! As in... Shh, don't talk about them. They will nuke us from orbit. Do not talk about them. Oh, I breached a, a, breach a contract. Ha ha! Sorry. <laughs> mm, space laser. Nah, they don't have a Death Star. Y- yeah, that you know of. Yet. Not even a... <laughs> no, not a Death Star. Just a fucking space laser. Disney has a space laser. I'm convinced of this. Death Star. That's what the Death Star is. Mm. Keep in mind, processing power gets smaller. So you have the Death Star. I'm waiting for the space laser. No. Then, then you have Dude, the Death Satellite. Dude, I just... I, then okay, you have okay, the okay, Death okay, iPod. So, so what... So what does Microsoft hope to accomplish with this? Oh, they're per- bolstering their library. Absolutely. Absolutely, that is all this is. They are trying to bump up their exclusives to compete with Sony because Sony, with their first parties between Spider Man, what used to be The Last of Us and Naughty Dog, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Santa Monica with God of War, um, Gorilla with Horizon Zero Dawn, Spider Man, I think I already said, but um, yeah. yeah, you did, um, and then uh, Quantic Dream and all that stuff. They have a ton of exclusives. What has Microsoft got? A bunch of promises and empty bags. Which, and back in the day, Microsoft actually had a fair amount of exclusives. Well, Xbox uh, uh, 360 era, anyway. Um, well, you had Fable. You had a deal with Call of Duty. You had Halo. You had Gears of War. You had... Uh, uh, Forza? Uh, well, <laughs> Sorry, I'm even... Stuck. I've always... I, I, I still want to see... De- and it'll never happen, but I want to see Devil May Cry on Xbox. It'll never happen. We, we, can, we can already do that. Devil, Devil May Cry 5 is on Xbox. I've told you this at least three times. Why don't we have it? Because we always say we're going to do it, and then we go, oh, we don't want to spend the money. Plus, when was the last time we streamed? I thought you were streaming. Oh, wait, never mind. We got life going on. Um, I loved it, my cry. I actually want to play DMC5. I do actually want to start streaming again, and it'll be Crisis Remastered. Which, and crisis. that actually comes into another video of ours that we need to talk about is Facebook streaming. It is becoming everywhere. It is all over my feed. Yeah, I but they're blocking the music side of it, them. The music side of it, but we don't need music. What? We'll talk later. Um, I'm just saying. I 
that they're trading oh, one oh, for oh, the oh, other. Oh, oh, oh. So, so, so what are we hoping to see from Microsoft and the Bethesda merger? What is this? What are we Less hoping? Bugs. What are we? Less bugs. Less bugs. Less bugs. That's the hope. Uh, is no, 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 no. You're putting NPCs in your game, Bethesda. Christ's sake. You're putting NPCs in your game. Fallout New uh, 76 released without NPCs. There were no NPCs. They had robots. Oh, you didn't hear about that? Yeah, no, no, no. There were no NPCs. I thought I heard most of the 70... The 76 was a dumpster fire from what I heard. Well, between the broken and the glitches. Glitches. Um, glitches. You mean part of the game? Because yeah, yeah, Bethesda is notorious for that crap. But Bethesda Why does so Microsoft buy a, 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 a studio? Because they got more than just Bethesda. They got the IP to Elder Scrolls, which is a strong IP. Fallout, which is a strong IP. Wolfenstein, a strong IP. Wolfenstein is huge. Dishonored, a well, wait, strong IP. That, they got wait, 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 wait. Does that mean, because they're doing a Wolfenstein thing on Netflix. Uh, probably, yeah. No, I believe Wolfenstein on Netflix is a thing. Does that mean that, hold on. Can I, can I play the Jeopardy theme? Can I do it? Netflix, do Wolfenstein. It? Do, 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 do. And that's all. Fair use will get us. Anyway. No. But, okay, so Wolfenstein m might be a thing on Netflix. Okay, I, I know about Castlevania but, and a few others. But, um, but well, Castlevania is one of the things, but I, I know Wolfenstein. So, wait, are they going for after, after IPs that are going to be uh, 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 on multiple media platforms, such as They've movies, always TV? That. They've always done that. You didn't read the Halo books, but I did. Oh, I have no interest. Actually, Fall of Reach is really good. I, I have no interest. Fall of Reach is really good. No, because I don't like things like, you want to learn more about our story? No, Fall of Reach Read our comics, a... watch our TV shows, watch crap that failed, and then no, you'll finally No, Fall of Reach is proper. means it, it expands. It no. does, it's not required. Oh. It's a good book. No. Yes. Anyway, um, are they... Are, uh, is Microsoft going for this? Multi and not only that, but what are they going to do with exclusivity now? That, that's the big question is, does PlayStation get Fallout anymore? Do they get Elder Scrolls? Is it Xbox only or is it Xbox and PC? I mean, I know they're trying to kind of blur the line there with the whole Game Pass thing. Well, I mean, show. dude, the Series X is just, I, I, I mean, with with the release it's price and all that. It's a budget gaming PC. It's exactly what it is. It, it runs on AMD hardware. It, but it's better than a console. Well, it is a console. But, but you, it's a budget gaming PC has always been better than a console. And so now we're actually reaching the turn. That, that's they're, for, they're, that's they're, for next video. That's they're, for, ne they're, that's they're for the hardware equating. one. They're, yeah, they're starting to. But anyway, but it just, that. dude, I, I, I don't understand the concept here. I don't understand seven no, that, and a half that, that, that is billion a, dollars. I'm getting hung up I'm on getting, seven and a half billion dollars. That is dude. a shitload of money. There's no other way to say it. Uh, dude. That is a shitload I, of money. And so you got to wonder what the overall strategy is here. Like, what exactly is the end game? And I believe the end game is, you remember Skyrim? We own it now. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing the Dr. Evil pinky into the side of the mouth thing. Like, I, I, anyway. it's, it's actually starting to apply. Like, oh. no, and, and this is where you start to run into the whole consolidation of the gaming IPs. I mean, you figure that Microsoft owns... Well, Obsidian and Rare and now Bethesda and you've got Sony with Gorilla and Santa Monica and Naughty Dog and then you've got everybody else just kind of floating out there unable to afford to keep up with what these guys are doing. I swear to God, this is part of going into that whole cloud-based streaming service that I've been talking so, about. So, okay, here's the, here's the next so they're not they're not buying Is this, this good or bad for overall that gaming remains to be seen for overall there. gaming is this good or bad but i swear to god this leads and at some point xbox game pass and psn are going to be applications just like netflix or hulu that you log into and you just play the games there that's what they're going to and so it is and i just download it on my roku tv it's a, a event you'll have to do that for now but eventually they want it to be just like those where you go? I'm gonna play Horizon Zero Dawn. Double click. So no more, no more game box. Just download it on the browser and based. It, and it's like, hey guys, not you, even a download. I'm talking pure streaming. They, they've these guys. Uh, Sony. No, that's what I'm saying. No, 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 Matt. But I can just literally click 
two buttons and put on my Roku TV, Netflix, Amazon, all that stuff. And so literally all they would tell okay, me is... Okay, okay, but you keep calling it download, which is a different thing. But, no, um, because you do still have to download the application. Like if I go into the Google Play store okay, and it says, well, do be you... Okay, clearer want- then, damn it. Anyway. How much more clear can I be than download? Actually, this last bit was pretty good. Um... But no, you go and you download Game Pass or Xbox Live and uh, (laughs) you play the game or you go and you download PlayStation Network and you play the game. That's what they're going to. But that's what I'm saying. It's just on my Roku TV. No more game box. It's just, hey, download our app. Bam. Load, log into our app after it's, you know, and then bam. That and then, is the eventual. And then they're now, like, might hey, have- you need to buy this controller that's compatible with your Roku TV to exactly. buy the app. Like, that's what they're going to, and they're trying to build up their first parties. That is exactly what they're doing. We're seeing the first steps in a battle that's going to happen in five years. What do you guys think about this? This is insane, and the, the ramifications of this, I don't uh, think it's we nuts. know yet. It's nuts. There's well, let us know down in the comments below, and don't forget yeah. that it would be hugely appreciated if you guys would go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, because only 50% of the people who are watching are actually subscribed. That's true for every YouTube channel because of the, how the algorithm works. So just do us a huge favor, and if you like what you're doing, become a part of that 50% that's watching Please, us Lavis. and subscribed. Please. Please. Stop sounding like a needy bitch. I got to get him some knee pads. He keeps doing that. Thank you guys so much for I watching. I love some knee with- pads. It make work a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. And we will see you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy, guys. Thank you so much and cheers. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.